Good morning, everyone. This is Jacob from Gooseneck Implement Product Support, and we're out here today doing some winter wheat seeding and fertilizer application. We got a John Deere 9RX 640 tractor pulling our N560 no-till drill, and we have the new C550T air cart with the Easy Cow. We're going to do a walk around of the new cart today. Here we are at our new cart. It's a C series cart, 550 bushel, and it'll have a T or an L, meaning trailing or leading. Trailing would be our toe behind, and leading would be our toe between carts. We come down, we have the new Acru rate meters, and you can see they're all stainless. This drill is just single shoot. It does come in double shoot. And the biggest change with our Accurate meters is they are now electric drive. We have eight individual electric motors on this cart to go with our 60 foot air drill. We also have the Easy Cal system here, and we'll go through that, how that system works. So a couple changes we have on this new C cart is we have high flotation front tires compared to the 1910. We also gained the same conveyor as what our C650 and 850 carts have, which is really nice. The arms swing nice, all hydraulic versus having to pull it around with the 1910s. And then we come up and we got a new display. It's all touch screen, so we can go through and see our virtual terminals for our cart and our easy cal and see everything with just touching, no more pushing the buttons like on the C650 and 850 carts. So we're here at the Easy Cal system. This is an orderable option for this cart. This allows us to take product from the trucks, dump it right into the bucket here, and then we could meter it out and get our MDVs. We're gonna make a separate video on this of how to calibrate it and what it all shows. So please look for that in future videos. So along the side of the cart, we have our four tanks and each tank has a set of load cells so we can see our weight in the tank inside of the tractor and we can do active cal where we stop, weigh the product and then we seed until it calculates enough acres and poundage change and it'll ask us to stop again, we weigh it and it'll create a new MDV or meter displacement value for our air drill. Here we are on the right side of the air cart. You can see we have a loading station here and we can pull this out and fold down the ladder so we can put bags of canola or inoculant on here. And it gives us access to our 50 bushel hopper at ground level for easier loading and unloading. As we walk past, you can see our load sails. We got the big high flotation tires, 800s on this air drill. And we have a redesigned ladder here to go up on top. So you come back, you flip the latch here, and this is how we gain access. Here we're up on top of this air cart. I'm gonna show you the new way of opening the latches for to put product inside of our tanks. So we grab the yellow handle here, push down slightly, roll over our cam, and the door flips open and you can fill them. They're almost straight in line for easier loading into our air cart. So we're inside the tractor here of our 9RX 640 and we're gonna go through a few of the screens you can see when running this new electric drive C-series cart. So we'll go to menu and then into our Seedstar air seating. And you can see our main page layout. We got each tank, one, two, three, and four, what rollers we have in there. We can see what our applied rate we're going for, what the product is on the top. Also our scale readouts that are in each tank. At the bottom, we have a status telling us if we're ready to go or not. We have blower speed. As you can see, it says auto. This air card is equipped with an auto speed based on the rate you're applying. So it'll speed up and slow down throughout the day as we're applying our seed and fertilizer. Next to that is the biggest change for this air cart because it's electric drive. We have to have an EPG. 
With our EPG, we have to have an electric generator and it's driven by hydraulic motors. On a trailing cart, we only get a hydraulic EPG. On a leading cart, you can choose a PTO generator or a hydraulic generator on those styles. 